It's a 61-year-old man struggling to stay alive. He's been treading water for 20 hours. I was thinking this is not going to be good because it's going to be dark here. The dehydration was so bad that uh, it was starting to affect my body. William Durden fell off his fishing boat without a life jacket. He somehow was able to tread water off the coast of Florida for all those hours. Durden, a retired pilot, credits his Navy training for knowing what to do. They teach you how to uh, uh, drown proof yourself and what uh, positions you need to, to be in to uh, stay above the water. Coast Guard personnel were amazed at his condition. I couldn't believe it uh, when, we, when we found him. It was, uh, the odds were stacked against him definitely. And uh, when we found, like, it, it blew my mind away that he was still out there and able to even lift his arms and wave at us like he did. So we had to ask, would you know what to do if you ever found yourself in such a life or death situation? Here's Victoria Ricano. It hasn't even been 10 minutes and I'm already tired. A lifeguard showed her just what to do. What do I do to stay afloat? You're going to want to tread water and move your legs in a circular motion as if you're sitting in a chair. And they're going to move as an egg beater going okay. together. This is hard. It's yep. not that easy to do. With your hands, you're going to want to skull and move them back and forth, pushing the water down. When you get tired, you can always lay back and do a back float. Keep breathing. Okay. Put your chest towards the sky. Okay. And spread out. Having a positive attitude also helps, as this brave man who flies for FedEx found out. I was thinking, I'm so close to retiring at my present job, and I'm not going to get ripped off. <laughs> and die out here. <laughs>